Hello my friends, our topic for today is being an influence. My friends, do you feel you are disrespected by your family and no one has any regard and respect for any of your opinions and suggestions though you sacrifice your time, your health and your energy? Or is your family or you are missing you whenever you go out to work or your work appointments? Or is there any time you felt your family or work manager or your friends really looking for you whenever you are away from them? Our scripture for today is Isaiah 26, 8. He will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth for the Lord has spoken. My friends, the question for today is, how can you impress others or how can you influence others? The Bible guides you through three passages. Number one, James 1, 19, be a good listener. My friends, many may hate you. Even your spouse may lose interest in you. And even your work manager may lose passion in your work. Please do not lose your hope. In order to make a good impression, you need to show an active interest in the person you are talking to. Listen to what they are saying. A good listener learns a lot about people. Ask stimulating questions about the other person's interests and opinions. Respond to their questions with a sense of the topic. For example, if it is an upsetting conversation about sickness, don't tell a joke. Responding correctly will generate a sense of trust and create a bond between you. People are more likely to respond when they hear their name, as the use of their name makes your message more personal to them. By remembering to use someone's name, you will seem like an interesting person who pays close attention to details. It is the same as remembering their birthday. So take notice of what they have to say about themselves. Number two, Numbers chapter 13, verse 30. Be a motivator. My brethren, encouraging someone to talk about the things they are passionate about is another great way to demonstrate an interesting in others. It is also one of the best ways to get to know someone, a vital component in building a relationship. Even the shyest person will open up if you get them going on topic they love. If you find out that someone likes reading, ask them about the best book they have read lately or ask them to recommend something for you to read. If they are interested in something like rock climbing, ask them how they first got involved and see if they have been willing to bring, your, bring you along sometime. Number three, Philippians chapter four, verse 13. Be optimist. My dear brothers and sisters, you may be discouraged just because your spouse stops paying attention to your presence or even your work manager may stop paying attention to your suggestions and ideas. It is vitally important to always respect other people's opinion, even during a disagreement. You don't need to agree with the other person, but you should allow them to express their opinions and beliefs without contradicting or belittling them. Relationships are built on trust and mutual respect. So, my friends, it is very important to recognize and accept your differences. If you really have to disagree with someone, recognize that although you don't agree, what you hear is not reasonable. Yes, I see where you are coming from. Make generous use of the metaphor or perspective. Yes, but if you look at it from a different point of view, never tell another person that their opinions are crazy, senseless or worthless. Respect and you will be respected. Here is the hope for you from Isaiah 26 verse 3. 
you will keep me in perfect peace whose name mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you let us pray heavenly father in the name of jesus of nazareth we come to your holy presence there is somebody here dear lord today losing their hope in their lives please tap on the shoulder and remind that you are next to them and your presence will go before them thank you for hearing our prayers and making our request to be done in jesus name we pray amen god bless you